Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the changes that Microsoft is rolling out with Windows 11 build 26120.3360, also known as a KV50520090. This update is available in the dev and beta channels. And these changes belong to version 24H2. Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes available in the latest preview of Windows 11 for the dev and beta channels. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also, don't forget that you can support my work by visiting my website where you will also find more Windows tutorials and tech news. Okay, first we're going to open the uh, settings app because Microsoft is making changes to the lock screen. And more specifically on this release, the company is removing the lock screen status setting and replacing it with a new your widgets settings, which is this one that you can see right here. You can now enable and disable the widgets that appear on the lock screen using this toggle switch. And you can also control the widgets that appear on the lock screen. So for example, here we can click the add widgets button and that will allow you to choose from the different widgets that you can add. However, this feature is not limited to the default widgets. So you can actually go to the Microsoft store and find even more widgets to add to your lock screen. However, you will notice that a lot of them are paid widgets. So right now I'm just going to add this one right here, which I already added. And then I'm going to add weather. And let's add, and let's just add the watch list for financial information. From here, you can also rearrange the widgets. So now if you want to change the widgets, you can always click the menu right here and you can move it up and down and you have the option to remove it. I'm just going to add this one and let me add ports. And now let's go to the lock screen to see that now we have only the widgets that we want to see. Now, furthermore, Microsoft is adding a new group policy to enable or disable the feature on Windows 11. However, this feature is usually aimed for network administrators. And just to show you where it's located, I'm going to open the GP edit, actually the group policy editor, and then I'm going to navigate to administrative templates, Windows components, widgets, and then this is the policy that enables and disables the widgets on the lock screen. Now, it is important to know that this feature is rolling out gradually for uses located in the European economic area, but in the future, the company will bring this feature to all regions. Now, let's open the task manager. And in this particular build, task manager is getting an update to make the CPU usage information more consistent. So you will now see the same CPU workload across all pages matching the industry standards. Now, if you want to see the previous CPU value, you have to go to the details page and then you will need to right click right here and select the columns option. And then you will want to check the CPU utility option. And then you will see the legacy CPU usage right here on this column. And this is the new one with the new standard. However, the new standard, you will see it across all the pages. And finally, Windows 11 build 26120.3360 is also updating the context menu for File Explorer. So now when you right click a file, you will notice that the share option has been renamed to share with and now it's a sub menu that allows you to share the specific file directly to an app. You can always click the more options item and that will open the traditional interface. Now, it is important to know that when using the share feature and you're actually sending a file to a specific app, you're not only limited to sharing the file with another person, but for example, here we can share it with paint and they will actually send that picture to the paint app and we're not technically like sharing this image or this file with another person. And finally, for this particular preview, these are all the other fixes and improvements you will see in this release. You can also check the link in the description to get to the article with all the details about this release. Also, Windows 11 version 23H2 received an update, but since it's a minor release, I decided to show you the changes in this video as well, because I'm already showing you changes in the beta channel, but those belong to the version 24H2 to development. So on Windows 11 build 
22635.5015, also known as a KV50. Fight 2089. Microsoft is working on a new entry to access the emoji panel from the system tray, as you can see right here. But you can also control this feature. So we can do this from the taskbar settings from the settings app. So if we go to the taskbar settings, we are now going to find a new emoji and more option. It actually has a menu that allows you to show that button on the system tray all the time using the always option, but you can always disable it using the never option, or you can use the while typing. So basically when you choose this option, the emoji button will not be available on the system tray. However, when you open an application and you're about to type text, then you will see the emoji on the taskbar. For example, if I open notepad, we can see that now the button to open emojis appear right on the bottom right corner. And while we're in Notepad, these are the other fixes and improvements that we're going to see on Windows 11 KV50529. One more thing that I wanted to point out for Windows 11 version 23H2 in the Veta channel is that the About page is soon getting updated to show cards for specific hardware configurations on your computer and more specifically we're going to see the graphics card information which in the past we were not able to see on the settings app also on this page we're going to see that microsoft is adding an entry to access frequently asked questions now let me know in the comments what you think about these improvements remember to like the video share it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing